I don't. Um, I'm not too sure. Where's the boss lie? Do you want me to go away? Mm. Or can I make a brief no. cameo appearance? Brief cameo appearance. A brief cameo appearance. Bah! <laughs> Guys, look how extra I am. I've got three tea bags. Three. Do you know why? We're about to spill some tea. I'm not enjoying this look. You know, you just get your hair cut and you just won't sit right. So, long time no see this channel that's that's very much the case but we are here today what looks like a building site it looks like an abandoned building abandoned building goes wrong no this is my house currently this is my house this potentially actually could be my next bedroom next new bedroom if i decide to move here but uh, for now it's just a cool edgy background so let's begin So aside from saying that I look a state, I'd first of all like to start off by saying sorry for not uploading, but it's okay, we're gonna get back on that and we're gonna start off with a brand new series. Now, I decided that I wanted to do a series where I sort of input my view and opinion and explanation as a content creator who's seen many different people upload videos onto sort of certain gray areas of YouTube. I'm gonna be discussing this in a three part, potentially more part series, potentially less if I just, leave this channel for a few months could happen but today's agenda is talking about fast growth so fast growth is a term that i have come up with and this series i'm not too sure of the name but it's probably going to be like yeah i don't know it's called this ding what i mean by fast growth is the idea that somebody goes onto youtube with the intention of growing as fast as possible now you might be thinking most people make a channel and yeah they want to grow fast myself included. But this is the idea that people use the sort of most, I'd say, shifty, perhaps um, exploity, it's not a word, ways in which to grow. Everyone knows the term of clickbait, where you basically make a video with the intention to get as many views as possible. So put certain things in the thumbnail, put capitals in the title. You know, it's even got to that point where people are putting not clickbait to prove that it is or it isn't clickbait, because sometimes it still is. So a few years back, well, Let's be precise, 10 years back when YouTube first started, there was an equal playing field for everybody to start off with. Everyone had zero subscribers. There was no big shots and small YouTubers. It was just everyone was equal because everyone started from the bottom. There was no hierarchy system to YouTube. Everyone started off as just basically themselves making videos. I don't even think partnerships were involved back then. But nowadays, there is such a hierarchy system. And I think people are impatient. Of course people are impatient. But back in the day when everyone was equal, no one really had this drive to make it to the top with all the current YouTubers, because there were none. But now when people join YouTube, they see these big times with millions of subscribers, and they look at that and they say, I want that. And they see that they've got that now. They see that big YouTubers have millions of subscribers now. So they think, I want that now too. And they don't quite understand that years of work and growth went into creating those huge channels. And people are impatient and they want to get to the top as fast as possible. And I think that's where the dirty tactics tactics come into play. Now, of course, none of these tactics are wrong or against the terms of service. I mean, sometimes there are people take clickbait to the extreme. You can actually get your videos taken down, but these are just ways in which you can tell someone is just doing it for the growth, the subscribers, the money. They don't actually have a care or a passion for the videos they make. For example, I'm not going to call anyone out, but I've seen people make certain types of videos. They weren't really doing that great and they saw an opportunity to clickbait the crap out of stuff and rise to the top. They started making videos that they knew were gonna get views over ones that they previously made. Now I get it, people change and people don't wanna make the content they used to and that's like literally me right now. But some people just take the mick. It seems like following trends and clickbait are the only way you can succeed anymore on YouTube. And I really feel like 2017 is gonna be that year where if you don't have arrows or red circles in your thumbnail or exploiting your girlfriend that's going to be another video coming soon you can't succeed it just literally seems like that people are literally making fake 
giveaways on their channel and they'll literally say if you want to be in this giveaway all you have to do is um, go down to the description go to my second channel subscribe to that go and follow me on Twitter follow me on Instagram like this post on my Twitter and Instagram account then go down and follow my friends Instagram my friends Twitter my friends YouTube channels that should be starting in a few months and then you can enter my giveaway it's so exploitive of the viewer like the viewer is being sort of used because they think they're gonna get you know a chance to win some gift cards. Now a lot of these times these giveaways will literally run for months and months and months so this person gets months and months and months of viewers worth going onto other platforms or you know social medias to have a giveaway eight months later and sometimes the giveaways don't even happen. It's trends like the calling YouTubers and thousand degree knife. I get it that is perfectly fine to follow trends because they get views and I understand it, we all want to make some money. Now in no way am I calling anyone out or shaming anyone for using these tactics, but I just really feel like someone should talk about these sort of tactics, grey areas like I said. It seems like more and more people are just going to YouTube, they see that there's people at the top making loads of thousands of pounds and they say I want that now and I see they've got that now so I want that now I'm not going to put the years in like they did a few years ago I'm just going to get to the top as soon as possible and they've changed from quality content to just quantity they want to make as many videos as possible so they follow trends they do all these tactics just to get growth as quick as possible and honestly you can tell people are just doing it for the money doing it for the fast growth now one thing that really annoys me and used to annoy me a lot more as a viewer is sponsored videos and i get it people make sponsored videos because they have to make money and i'm so down for sponsored videos i think it's fine like in some cases it's bit too far like the whole video is an ad but I think it's fine people have to make a living and especially those that aren't doing like at the top of YouTube and they're not earning you know what they kind of need to be earning it's cool it's Gucci <laughs> some people will literally take the mic and they will do say they're a gaming channel they will do a sponsored video for face mask or something like that like nothing that they clearly there's it's all scripted and they have no idea about the product and it just doesn't fit their audience like it just doesn't make sense Say you're a gaming channel and you do a sponsored video for an app, you know, like Best Fiends, we all know that app. That's cool, like, it's a, even vloggers that do that, I, can't, I get it, like, you do it for your audience and that works. But just exploiting your audience and seeing them as just clicks and money and doing whatever you can, just like, it's just not cool, like, get a sponsored video that fits your channel. I have turned down so many sponsored up well no not so many like quite a few sponsored opportunities because i'm just like look that is not gonna fit my channel i'm not gonna use my audience like that because i know that that's just not them i had this sponsored video opportunity where i was gonna upload like a, a a clip at the end of my videos to play like five seconds for about a month and i would on it I'm, I'm being honest here i would get twenty dollars per video for doing that up to two videos a week so potentially i could be getting forty dollars a week for a month, four, four times four, $160 in a month. For me as a teen who doesn't have a job, that is pretty good. And it just got to that stage where I was like, this is a hat company, this is not gonna fit the channel. So to end this video off, I essentially think that nowadays you do get like good people, normal people, loads of people are doing things the right way. And I guess there is no right or wrong way. Like everyone can do YouTube in their own way. But I do feel like there's people that just kind of take the mick nowadays and they just do everything they can to be on that trending page, which is understandable. Like I'm not trying to call anyone out or hate anyone or take this video as like offense, but legit, like Fast Grove, I think it's a concept that we all should understand because Essentially, it's just you guys, the viewers, that get exploited by fast growth. Now in my next video, I have two more topics to talk about, and that is one clickbait, and I'm gonna talk about how clickbait on YouTube and in um, the media off YouTube, you know, like newspapers and stuff, that sort of thing. And also I'm gonna be making one on exploiting relationships and people's girlfriends slash boyfriends, because I think that's another interesting topic. Now I have no idea how this video is gonna go down. It is totally different to what I usually upload. But this is sort of where I wanna take my channel in a more serious slash, I don't know, topical way. So this will be the first in potentially a new series. And I will also be uploading some a couple of daily vlogs and other things that have relevant to the channel. But tell me if you like it. Tell me if you like me to discuss these things with you guys as viewers. I honestly have no idea how this background looks because I can't see anything until I get on the computer. But yes, I'm gonna end this video here. If you didn't know, please be sure to smash a like on this video. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.